So now um, we're going to move on to John Ferreira of What Pisses Me Off. Um, I'm a big admirer of your show because we need shows like this and like we need shows like yours to keep reality in check. You know, um, you're a great host of a great show and keep them coming, bud, because the topics are really, really great. Um, he's got this really crazy Justin Bieber piece. Or episode, I should say, that every single believer should see. Like, if you're a believer, you need to see this video. Because it's true. And you know what? We need people like John Ferreira to, to you know... To put our noses in it and wake us up and tell us when we're being stupid because someone's got to do it and I thank him for doing it. So thank you. Thank you very much, John. Because he, really he really does it well. He knows what he's talking about and his show just makes you think about, you know, so many things that people take for granted these days and it really, really spins new light on topics that you know we ignore or the media ignores and it really tackles problems head on so it's a really really great show so check out what pisses me off it's also got one of the coolest intros channel intros I've ever seen and my sister loves it and she thinks he's cute so all right um we're going to move on to Mike Kunda. You know, watching your documentary, um, getting to know you on Facebook a bit, and how you keep um, the Rocky spirit and Stallone spirit alive is just beautiful. You know, your tours, uh, how you touch Philadelphians and, and fans and help bring joy to people everywhere. You know, we need more people like you in the world you know and I just want to say that you know thank you for being such a positive influence for people today because you know the world really needs more love and you bring that to them so thumbs up the Myers fan um I love your show too and hearing your thoughts on various things and you know you have things you've covered in the past and things you're going to uncover for us in the future. And, um, I just can't wait for what comes next. Um, Tyrone Magnus. Um, your topics, advice videos, you know, trailer reactions. I just fell in love, you know, since the beginning so thank you for taking the time and caring and your love really goes a long way and shines through and you know your your how do I concerning the baby episode just made my heart melt you know my girlfriend was weeping um it's such a touching show and it's handled with so much care so check out um Tyrone Magnus show you know I love all your installments and I'm such a fan so Keep them rolling out. Oliver Harper. You know, I've been following you for a while now. And I love that it shows that you love what you do. And it really comes across in your work. And I just can't get enough of it. And seriously check out his page. Because it's, it's great. You know, you're going you're gonna to love, like, the scope and the detail and... Um, the quality and the quantity of the topics. You, you're going to love it. Um, especially uh, Love Wave. You're really going to love Love Wave. Um, this brings us to Mr. Zachary Oberzon. And I want to thank you again so very much for that personal viewing of flooding with love for the kid. Um, it really opened my eyes to brand new concepts and horizons and beliefs and you are truly 
a master of your craft you know um you know such a great guy and i just can't thank you enough you know um i hope we have like have you on the show in the future um such wonderful filmmaking from this guy and jason t-man now i just want to say keep up the fight you know we all need someone like you standing up for what's right and what's fair and i love your show and i can't wait to have you on mine so i'm sorry for um waking up your family and your neighbors last week um you know i hope we can talk about it when you come on the show and i can't wait and i love your show and it's great so check out jason t man his debut performance on rambo mania is um scheduled to be you know just out of this world awesome so i have really special plans for that episode ocp communications aka mike um i just want to say um i've also been watching and following your show and that's really really great you know like um it really gets you into the spirit of the topics covered and you know i also wanted to say that i'm sorry that robocop 2014 sucked because i know how much it meant to you and it's sad that you know fans like us have to endure hollywood rehash garbage you know just making mockeries of the things that we love so much so you know thank you for fighting fighting the good fight um you know like ocp communication show is really um one of passion you know it's just a really cool show so um you know thank you for uploading really cool topics you know it's it's like one day maybe our voices will be heard you know i do believe if enough of us speak up that we're not gonna you know take it anymore that we might start getting better films you know to enjoy back again so keep it up man um you're doing a phenomenal job uh, Michael Hackett, you know, thanks a lot for all the support and all the love. Um, it's viewers like you I wanted to make this show for, you know, to begin with. So thank you so very much for um, for tuning in, you know, thanks. And who do we got next? Oh, yes, Mr. Michael Chapman. Um, I just want to say... I'm so grateful and thank you so ever much for donating your First Blood fan extension for review with us. You know, we're probably going to do that next week and and then maybe have or definitely have Mr. Chapman, in fact, um, on the show as well with us live. So, you know, he also sent us a televised print of First Blood that we will look at as well, uh, probably at the same time. And he sent a televised work print of Rambo First Blood Part 2. So I can't wait for that because now we're going to, you know, get to, um, when we get to that subject, it will be a million times better than what I had already had, you know, planned. You know, all of you just gave me so much inspiration going into this and, you know, to do this and the show just would not be the same without any of you so thank you all of you so very much and you know even if you're just listening for the first time you know thank you thank you thank you thank you you know um thank you together we can move mountains so you know um yeah yep yeah, just you know beautiful thank yous to everybody and you know comment message inbox or subscribe you know because i i really want to have you all as friends and you know this is our show the show for the people and yeah so if you want to come on the show that's great leave me a message and i'll bring you on 
or you know if you have a question I'll I'll read your questions actually I would like to do a a fact video like a frequently asked questions video I think that would be really 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 cool um, you know always looking for something new to do on the show to make it just a little bit better for everybody because you know you guys are the ones that matter and you tune in so thanks everybody um, you know so much more than you'll ever know and you know I just can't you know state that enough so Rambo Mania by the people for the people now so that leaves us with last but not least Mr. Mickey Cardoni uh, pick Mick for the Rambo prequel you know a topic we're going to talk about next up on Rambo Mania and you know thank you so much you know as well for all the support and the chats and you know agree agreeing to come in on the show with us and you know your projects are really really impressive and have so much heart to them so I can't wait to have you on the show so check him out people you're gonna love him and we're gonna hear from him next up on Rambo Mania in an exclusive interview one-on-one -on -one interview with Mickey Cardoni so stay tuned for that people Rambo Mania would not be the same without you. Thanks for watching.